Okay, so the next thing na gagawin natin since we successfully inserted naman yung mga record natin is to provide some validation process. This is important pagdating sa mga forms. Na sabihin natin this is a required forms and it needs a data. So once blanco, blank yung input while well, hindi siya naglagay, then it should um, display an error message na kailangan natin i-fill out to. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin? So, let's try to check out yung form validation. Dito, form validation. Ito. So, paano ba ito gamitin? You can just read the form, the documentation. So, we need to load yung form validation. Okay. So, i-autoload ko na lang. Libraries. Yan. Okay. I-close ko lang muna yung iba. Tapos, um, run the validation. So, ito. May sample dito. So, load the, set the rules if required siya. Okay. So, let me try to copy this up para madali. Then, go back to the controller. Once the form is submitted, that's the time na magbabalidate tayo ng form. So, try, try to copy the code. And then, ano yung part ng pag-set ng rules. So, if you want to other part, set ng rules. Mm, set rules. Creeping rules naman to. Yung basic, basic setting of rules. Ano yung... Ah, to. Ito yung parameters. The first parameter will be the field name. Of course, yung field name or yung input name natin. The second is yung label, basically. The third is yung rule. Okay. So, in this part, gagawin lang natin is ganito. Um, yung field name natin, meron tayong first name. Then, of course, yung label niya is yung first name. Then, sabi natin required siya. They, they also have yung trim na sinasabi. Let's also place that one. It's important. Matrim yung mga data. Then, meron din tayong M name. Di siya ganun ka-required. Or, depende sa inyo guys. M name. Middle name. Then, yung L name. Tapos yung last name. Trim din to. Okay, wala naman akong email. So, let's try this one lang muna. I-run natin. If equals to false, then that's the only time na ma-save tayo. Save natin yung form. Otherwise, um, ah, mali, mali. <laughs> Baliktad. Ito pala. If equals to false, then false. Now, ilalagay naman natin dito yung process if successful. Ngayon, babalik na rin natin yung result. If not equals to false, dito, para once ito hindi magkaroon ng error or sabihin natin mayroong error, then, i-display pa rin yung um, form natin. And to repopulate yung mga data na kailangan. So, ano pa? Idagdag ko lang yung iba. Um, meron pa tayo anong kailangan pang data? Username at saka password. Username. 
and yung yung suffix hindi naman siya required diba okay so then we have the password and also the confirm password tama ba yung name ko to confirm password Itong label, ito yung display sa part ng error message. Okay. So, those are the form, the rules na kakailangan natin. Okay. Um, ano pa ba? Kasi aside from validation, of course, we need to display the rules of the error message. So, um, saan na ba yung sample nila? Ito. We need to copy this one. Um, punta tayo sa registration, then ilagay natin ito dito. Okay, then they also have this one, the set value. This is important para magkaroon ng sinasabing sticky form na kung saan once the form is submitted, hindi maririmove yung data. Okay, so it is important na meron. Kasi merong ibang form na once the form submitted, then magkaroon ng error. Yung ibang data na re remove na, which is not good. So, this will solve your problem, which is also known as the sticky form. Okay, username. Then, we have the password. And we also have for the confirm password. Okay. So let's try that one and refresh tayo. What will happen? Yun. So parang nasira yung style ko. Naka fix pala yung design niya. So ganito, if you want to manage yung style niya dyan, you can um, para siyang nakafix hmm, wait I um, want to manipulate this one inner cover kung dalagyan ko siya ng merging top what will happen Hmm, pumaba siya. Hmm, pwede no. So, naipunta lang ako sa... Ah, walang... Cover. Yung inner cover na lang. So, punta lang ako sa CSS ng bagay guys. So, inner cover. Meron siyang padding. Actually. Pero sa margin na lang ako magbanat. Margin top of 100 pixels and margin bottom. Of 100 pixels. Um, let's try to check this one. Refresh. Ganun pa rin. Implemented naman siya. Ah, okay. Fix lang talaga yung design nila. Ah, okay, okay. Makes sense. Okay lang. So, ngayon naman, yung gusto kong mangyari is this one should be in an alert message. Yung sa red, kanina. Okay, so we can do that um, putting this one. So first na gagawin natin, let's try to check ano ba yung value na nare-return dito. Kasi baka array siya. So we can use the bar dump if you are familiar with this. Ano ba yung para malaman natin yung data type. 
So, it is a string. String lang siya. Okay. So, yung gagawin natin, ganito. We're going to check if not empty yung errors. If not empty, that's the time na i-echo natin yung ganito. Kasi I try to check yung ganon para hindi tayo magkaroon ng error dito. Kasi if we're not going to check and display it immediately, yung mangyayari is that yung alert message kahit wala pang error, madi-display na. So that's the thing na hindi natin gusto mangyari. Okay? So refresh natin to. Yan. So meron na tayong alert message. So it's up to you guys kung paano nyo siya pagagandahin. It's up to you. Pwede naman itong nasa left side. Kasi by default kasi center yung mga paragraph niya. That's part of the style of the cover. Actually, pwede naman natin yung manipulate. But for now, um, for demonstration purposes, ganun lang muna. So you can make it on your own naman. Your own design. Okay? So for now, ganun. So, yung objective ngayon is, see, we already have this. Um, we can already have that. Ito, kailangan required. Ito, kailangan required. So, there are two ways actually. We can put the error here or we can put the error at the one at a time. Sa mga fields, meron ganun. Asan na ba yun? Ah, ito. Echo form error. Ah, tama. Try natin. If tama yung nahanap. Refresh. Yan, meron siya dito. Kung ganun yung setup nyo. So, it's up to you guys kung ano yung error messaging nyo na gagawin. Okay? Okay, so since we already have those things, okay, um, so ano po ba yung kulang? Sabi natin maglagay ako ng name sa bit ko. So yun, di ba? It's still, um, nakalagay pa rin yung mga name natin. Um, that is done through this set value. So that's how we, um, make it more um, flexible sa parting sticky form. Now, um, ano ba ba yung kulang? Kung maglalagay ako dito, and hindi sila pantay, and save, hmm, successful siya, which is hindi dapat. Kasi, the password field and the confirm password field should be match. Okay, so we need to check na kailangan mag-match sila. So, merong validation sa part dito on checking if match ba yung uh, search ko lang yung match. Ito. Ito yung match. Copy ko lang yung code na yan. Paste natin dito sa password. Then, ah, mali. Dito pala. Dapat match siya sa password. So, if we're going to refresh, save, uh, unable to access error message corresponding to the field password name. Talaga. Ay, sorry. Okay, yun ang mali. Okay, okay. Um, again, so yun, the confirm password field does not match the password field. Yun. Okay? So if you want to manage the new length, meron din. So all you need to do is to read the documentation and implement it on your set rules. So, one more.
So the data was successfully saved. So check natin sa database. I'm sure marami na tayong data dito. Ito, marami na. We're going to remove. For the duplication, guys, you can... Meron silang unique dito. You can explore yung is unique nila. Pero this always check the uniqueness. So the problem with this, if you're managing yung... Um, you're editing a record and you're going to use unique, what will happen, magiging hindi na siya unique kasi na-access naman siya sa database. So you need to do some tweak on that on the part of managing the uniqueness. Or you can have the custom rules on checking to the database if it exists or not. Okay? So I leave it for you at the moment, guys. So explore nyo lang muna. Okay? So let me try to remove the record, some of the record here. So I want to empty this one para yung primary key natin mag-start at 1 na naman. And let's try to save a proper record na. Um, sabihin natin on dialo. And then yung password. Oh, wait. And save. Yan. Check natin. Database. Um, users. So, yun. I have my remote dialog. Yung password ko is encrypted. As visitor lang muna ako. Okay. 